Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing a lot of reviews, if you've been with me at all. I just finished up that loose powder week and I'm actually traveling, so I'm pre-recording and I thought I would just do something much more chill. So we're just here to do a haul. I've been hauling like little random stuff here and there and for the past couple months I feel like I've been doing just kind of like dedicated videos to things that I've purchased. But when I've purchased those things, along with a few other things, those things have kind of been forgotten. So I gathered up all those random products and I thought I would just haul them together in this completely random haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I've purchased uh, randomly in the past couple of months, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with uh, the oldest thing <laughs> that I really should have hauled uh, probably at like two months ago, two, maybe three months ago at this point. But I purchased the Chanel hand cream. I don't even know why I still have the box, but let's just uh, get rid of the box now. So I got this hand cream because mainly I like the packaging. It's like this little cute pod egg shaped thing and the cap just sort of twists off and then and then the top of this tip here kind of just sort of splits open so that when you press this the hand cream comes out so it's really cool I fell in love with the packaging when I was at the counter I put it on and it didn't seem that fragrant then but it is actually pretty fragrant so I don't know if the one at the counter was maybe just a little bit older or whatever yeah and in fact actually since the the first time I opened it when I got it home I feel like the fragrance has already died down a little bit but it is fragrance not my favorite thing it's a kind of a sweet floral uh, Chanel fragrance but yeah I prefer something much lighter or nothing at all when it comes to my hand cream but yeah I just got this on a whim because I just I just love this packaging all right I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out this box now uh, some other things I purchased um, so this I don't even know I think I got this from camera ready cosmetics and if you guys watched my Surat eyeshadow video, it's where I take all of my Surat eyeshadows out of the Surat palettes and I put them into my Adept Cosmetics palette, which is big, but the Surat shadows aren't magnetized. So I had to buy a whole bunch of little magnets to stick to the back of those shadows so that I could, you know, put them into the Adept Cosmetics palette. So I bought those from Camera Ready Cosmetics and for some reason, I decided to pick this up, and I think it's because I follow Danessa Myricks on Instagram, who's that you know fabulous makeup artist. I'm sure you all know about her, um, but she used this product in one of her photos, and I was like, I gotta try that out. So this is the Kryolan uh, Illusion, and this is basically like a cream highlighter, and I got it in the color Cashmere. Comes in a box like this, and. Here is like the little, the little cube here. It has like a glass bottom here, screw top. I tried this out like a couple of times and then kind of put it away and forgot about it. But this is what the product looks like on the inside. Very, very creamy and emollient. And it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I picked this color kind of randomly off of the Camera Ready website, so I'm really, really happy with it. And then these four things I got so long ago and haven't even really gotten a chance to play around with them. Uh, this was from the Armani Beauty Tokyo Gardens line, and I feel like this came out, well, this came out way before their Neo Nudes collection, which just uh, launched for summer. This was more of like a resort spring release, and I purchased two of the eye tints and two of the Ecstasy Lacquers, which is their um, very shiny lip gloss. I've never ever used this particular product from the Armani line before, the Ecstasy Lacquer. So I thought, oh, let me try it. And I was intrigued by this little kind of capsule collection that they came out with. So I got shades 100 and 101. They're both very, very nude. I didn't realize that they were quite as nude or white <laughs> as they are. So here is what the packaging looks like. And then you can see a little preview of the color down there. This is 100 and this is 101. I remember getting the package and just opening up and seeing the color and I thought, whoa, like that's really white and then putting them away and not, not really playing with them anymore. So. They do not have a pleasant scent. They smell a little, almost like, 
alcohol. Huh. So here is color 100. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but it almost looks like highlighter. And I'm so intrigued now, I have to try it on. Let me take off what I have on my lips. So there it is on my lips. When I first put it on, it felt um, almost a little thin, and I thought, ooh, this, you know, is this gonna bleed? Is it gonna do weird things? But it kind of starts to set down pretty quickly. And now it's not it's not sticky, but there's a little tack there. And I like this color on my lips a lot more than swatching it. Swatching it, I thought it was just gonna look too like white and milky, but it's actually pretty nice. It's sheer enough. And it has just a little bit of sparkle there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very pretty. Okay, uh, so that is color number 100, and then here is 101, which looks to have a little bit more pigment in there. That's what the applicator looks like, doe foot applicator. And this has like a peachier, almost like copper hint to it. So here is 101 on my lips. They look almost identical on <laughs> because they're so sheer. But this, I think the reflect is a little bit warmer than the 100. So there is a subtle difference, but I probably should have chosen more wisely. But anyway, this is what I ended up with. Yeah, I've never tried this lip lacquer before. If any of you guys have tried this lip lacquer formula from Armani before, will you comment down below if you think yours smells almost like chemically. It definitely doesn't smell like vanilla or cocoa or fruit or anything like that. And then I also got from this Tokyo Gardens line two of the eye tints. I got 31 and 34. And I think I remember not liking these eye tints. And I really, really enjoy the Armani eye tints. I think my issue was that they seem to kind of go on a little bit streaky, but with eye tints, if you've ever used them before, you kind of have to let them set a little bit and then they kind of spread out a little bit better. But let's see. So this is 31. It's like really, really white. But oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm completely misremembering everything. There's the 31 eye tint. Wow, that's really, really nice. If you're going for like an icy look, that is pretty. Use this one. This one's 34 and this one is like a peachy copper color. Oh yeah, this one looks a little bit streaky. Do you see that application? It looks a little bit funky. Yeah, so it just takes a little bit more work. And you know, the Armani eye tints don't set down completely. So you can kind of work them and, and layer them and work them and kind of blend them together and stuff. So they're fun to work with, but they don't set down completely. They're not like the, uh, the Stila Shimmer and Glows or anything like that. So there are pros and cons to that. All right, I'm liking this collection a little bit more the second time around. I think I wasn't expecting the colors to be the colors when I opened up the boxes. I think I thought I got other colors, but anyway, uh, these look nice. And these lip lacquers are definitely, now that I've gotten past the smell, are really comfortable, really, really comfortable. And they do set down to where you feel like secure that they're gonna stay on your lips even though they do kind of start out thin. So those are some of the much older products that I should have hauled a long time ago um, and didn't. So I have some newer items here and I purchased the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. I couldn't resist. And I got this off of Beautylish. And I think I purchased this the same time I purchased the Viseart Petite Pro 3. And I did a dedicated video to that, and so this just kind of fell to the wayside. But this is a really pretty highlighter. I thought maybe it was gonna be a little bit too dark for me, a little bit too deep. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. So there's the color there, and... So it's probably not my ideal shade. It is probably a little bit deeper than uh, what I would normally wear, but that's not gonna stop me. That is not gonna stop me. I am still gonna put this on my face. It's such a pretty color. It's like uh, it's like a little coppery, but then it's it's not quite as orange. There's a little bit of pink in there. It's a really, really pretty shade. So that's the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. And I'm thinking about doing a video on this highlighter and kind of comparing it to highlighters I have in my collection to see if I have anything that's like similar or anything. I don't think I do, but if you guys would like to see that video, definitely leave me a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up, something. Just let me know that you want a dedicated video with comparisons 
uh, to this Royal Glow highlighter. And I'm sure you guys saw my Guerlain try on haul, but now I'm just like hooked on the brand. And so I went back to the boutique and I actually went back with Risa of Risa Does Makeup. So we did a little damage when we uh, hit the strip the other day. Um, and I got two things at the Guerlain store. She actually turned me on to this. Uh, this is the Guerlain Multi Perfecting Concealer. So I wasn't looking for concealer, but she was like, this gets such good ratings on Sephora. And I was like, really? So of course I was intrigued. This is a concealer that comes in a tube. So this is what it looks like. And I got the shade 01 Light Warm. And I was just intrigued because, um, I had an Armani concealer that came in packaging like this. I think it was like the Maestro Eraser, something like that. Anyway, that's been discontinued and they only have the one in the actual um, like tube. I don't know if it has a doe foot applicator or a brush applicator, but it's not like this. And anyway, I missed that one and this kind of like brought me back and I thought, oh, let me try it. So let me show you the shade. It seems like there's super high coverage. So there is the concealer and let me just blend it out a little bit. Like that looks super high coverage. So I am very curious to see how this wears, uh, if it emphasizes lines, if it moves, as it creases, you know, all that good stuff. And so I was thinking then I should do a concealer week. So I'm thinking about doing a concealer week in June. A few of you expressed interest in that. If you are really down for that, then again, let me know in the comment section and I will gather up some concealers um, to try out. Of course, comment if there are some new concealers out there that you really want me to try. I would love to do so. Um, so this one will definitely be in that week because I am super curious about that. That high coverage is pretty impressive. And then the other thing I picked up from Guerlain is a new perfume. When I did that try on haul, so many of you were like, yeah, yeah, but get one of their perfumes, get one of their perfumes. And obviously that's what they're known for. They are a perfume house, the oldest one, the oldest perfume house in France, in fact. So I got one of their light ones. This is part of their Aqua Allegoria line, which is uh, very light. And I got the Herba Fresca, which has like citrus notes and green tea notes. I just really love it. And it's so fresh and clean and summery. And the salesperson that helped me there knew exactly what I wanted. I was like, I just want something, you know, light and clean. And he was like, say no more. And so he brought a few out and this was one. And I was like, okay, this is the one. It is light, so I feel like it doesn't last all day. Like if I spray it in the morning, by dinner time, I feel like I have to spray it again. So it does come in a generously sized bottle. I think this is like 4.2 fluid ounces. So that's fine. Um, and it's just, and I just love this bottle. It's so beautiful. It's like honeycomb webbing here. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. It kind of smells like, oh my god, I said this about my Byredo pulp perfume, but it kind of smells like a cocktail. Maybe I just like perfumes that smell like cocktails. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't drink anymore and I miss it. And then I picked up a few things at Barney's from Surratt. So Surratt came out with a few new things. Uh, he came out with these new lid lacquers, which are like eye glosses. And um, I just have to show you the packaging. So they come in these boxes with this red wrapping around there. And then when you open up the box, the little palette set inside this tissue paper. And I of course tore it open like a wild animal, but there's like a little sticker that kept it closed that has like Surratt's name on there, his logo. And then you open it up and the palette like set on this ribbon and you could just, you know, lift the ribbon up to get the palette out. I was like, oh my God, the attention to detail unparalleled. It's just so, so beautiful. So just opening up the package was just the best experience. And actually I have this, um, the opening of it on my Insta stories. I have a whole highlight of it. If you want to take a look, follow me on Instagram. My tag is down below. It's 40 year old Virgo. Uh, so I got four of these lid lacquers and let's just do some quick swatches. So this is shoe Eero. I was, I think most excited for this one because I mean, red eye gloss. So there's a swatch of that. And these eye glosses do not set down completely. So I am curious to do some wear tests on this. I am planning on doing a dedicated video to these lid lacquers and just see like, does it get messy? 
Does it start to melt? Does it crease? I am really, really curious about the wear of them. So anyway, uh, keep an eye out for that. And then this one is Kogecha. And then these next two are super cool. So these next two have glitter in them. This is Kira Kira. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my God. And then this last one I love. This one is Pika Pika. And this is basically a black with glitter in there. And there's Pika Pika. Oh my God. This looks so amazing. So I think they actually have like a, like a no glitter uh, black color also that I think I may want to get if uh, these two work out for me because these two don't have glitter. These two have glitter. So those are the Surratt lid lacquers. So excited to try those out. And he also came out with new colors. Uh, for his liquid eyeliners, the autographic eyeliner. One is Poupre, which is like a purple, and the other is Indigo Japonais, and, uh, which is like a blue. His liquid eyeliners are my favorite liquid eyeliner. Here is the Poupre. I love them because of this like brush tip. It is the most intuitive and easy to use brush tip, and it's so thin and it stays so thin. It's not like there's anything that starts to fray or whatever, because I have the black one, which I've had for a long time. It's just beautiful. So this is Poupre, this is the purple. And if you're not familiar with these Surratt uh, liquid eyeliners, they come uh, with a refillable cartridge. So if you run out of the ink, all you have to do is purchase the cartridge. Here is the Indigo Japonais, which is like a blue. And I love this blue because it is really an indigo. It is a little warmer and a little brighter than navy, but not quite as like bright and cool as cobalt. So those are the two new colors for the autographic eyeliners. And I think that's it. I have purchased in the past three months a lot of makeup brushes that I've been playing around with. So once I feel comfortable with how I best use them, that I can give you a review, I'm gonna do a makeup brush haul and kind of talk about uh, the new brushes in my life and how I use them. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, but that's it for this really random haul of things that I've purchased over the past few months. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know down below, one, if you're interested in a concealer week, and if you are, which concealers would you like to see reviewed with a full day wear test, the whole deal. And Oh my gosh, what was the other question I had for you? Oh, and would you like to see a dedicated video to the new Becca Royal Glow with like comparisons and stuff just to see like, do you really need this or what? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.